How you doing? Welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about another video on control. I think it's so important to, to get your head around this idea of control. Not only you controlling things, um, but controlling the things that you can control, controlling and how you respond to those things. That's so important to get that into your head that no matter what happens in your life, you can control the things that, um, that happen control your response to these things i'm just looking around here because it's so so many things to look at it's very fresh for me so um normally i like doing walks where um, i'm doing the same walk over and over again because i can really think really get deep into thinking when i'm doing walking videos for instance i can um i can think and i can totally zone into what i want to say but this is my first few days walking around here and I'm telling you it's, it's very difficult to concentrate on anything else but the, the scenery but this is what we came here for so um, I want to thank everyone as well for all the emails and uh, the messages that have been sent you know it's absolutely wonderful to uh, to hear from people who are you know taking this journey with us so uh, really appreciate it really appreciate everything so so what does it mean to have control of your mind, you know, to control how you respond to things. Um, when you stop and drinking alcohol, the, the, the whole thing is about understanding that the alcohol's got no control over you whatsoever. No control, zero. It's a liquid in a bottle. If you leave it in the bottle, it's not gonna do anything. You know, it will stay there forever in that bottle until you or somebody else moves it. And it, it absolutely cannot, cannot, get out of that bottle and into your body unless you uncork it or screw the bottle off or pop the, the can or whatever it is and put it into your body. And you have to do this sip after sip after sip. You know, with with any of this, um, there are certain things that you can control. What you control, you control. What you cannot control, you control how you respond to it. And that's the basis of... Um, of everything that we teach anyway, that, that no matter what it is that you do in life, that you control your responses. Um, even the things that you control physically, there is a choice. There is an element of choice. You choose whether you want to put alcohol into your body or not. And I don't care who you are or um, how much of an alcoholic you think you are, you still make the choice to uh, put the alcohol into your body, you know, because you say to yourself, well, if I don't put the alcohol into my body, then I'm going to have these negative feelings i'm going to have these negative aspects of things but you choose it you choose to put the alcohol in instead of going through the, the negativity and most people who um are drinkers when they don't put the, the alcohol in the negativity is mostly um psychological you know, some people will go through a psychological element of this but even with that physical element there is a psychological button to it you can turn up or turn down the dial of this through your mind, through the psychological point of view. Um, and there's very, very few people who need to uh, to get medical attention. There are a small minority of people, uh, but they're generally people who have drank so much alcohol and poisoned their body so much that they need medical assistance in order for their body to wean away from alcohol. Uh, if you're that kind of a person, you know that you're that kind of a person because um, for most people who drink, they can stop drinking alcohol for a day or two days or three days and there's no real problem, you know, they have a, a psychological thing there, they have a craving, they have whatever, you know, but um, yeah, it generally, it's uh, most of the stuff that you're going to you're gonna have to put up with um, when you stop and drinking alcohol is the psychological, it's you saying to yourself, I can't do this, it's the stories that you tell yourself, it's the, the, the fear of missing out, it's those things that you're telling yourself over and over and over again. Uh, I've been through this. Uh, I mean, I tried to stop smoking a hundred times. Um, I tried to moderate my drinking hundreds of times. Uh, every time I tried, I failed. Um, and that's just the way of it. I think the most important part of this whole process is not to let other people control you. Now, you're going to get a lot of control in terms of um, alcohol uh, advertisements. You know, the alcohol companies are pushing these things all the time and saying to you, you know, putting this idea in your head that alcohol is somehow uh, part of living, part of life, part of a, a normal life. And it's only people who have uh, these addiction problems that get addicted to it. That's bullshit because alcohol is a drug. Um, I mean, and you, once you stop drinking and once you get away from 
the pull of alcohol, you'll see it everywhere. You, you know, you're, once you're outside of that bewitching, that um, programming, you'll see it everywhere. You'll see it in everything that you, every time you go out and you see other people drinking, you'll see the, the not the addiction, but that pull, that psychological pull that people are going through. And uh, when it comes to other people, you have to understand that you're always in control, that they're never in control. Don't allow anyone to talk you into drinking alcohol. You know, this is, for me, it was always the, the case. Whenever I tried to stop doing something, most of the time it was other people saying, ah, you know, one or two isn't bad, you know. And all I was looking for was an out, you know, a way to, to start drinking again or to start smoking again, to go back to my old life again. And um, yeah, it takes strength of will, but you only build that strength of will by doing it, by pushing yourself to do it. I mean, willpower is, is really that, it's something that you can build yourself. It's willpower shows your, um, your purpose, your, you know, what you really want to do. Look, always remember that what goes into your mouth is there in your mouth, is in your body because you chose it to be there. You know, you being an alcoholic, you living your life as an alcoholic is there because um, you chose to live your life like that. You know, all of these things in life are, you know, getting to the best possible version of yourself. That's a choice. That's a daily choice that you make to get up and to improve yourself, to, um, to learn, to push yourself to achieve things, to push yourself to go to different places, you know. Um, you know, this is the sixth country that I've lived in in my life. Hopefully, well, I, hopefully, I think this is going to be the last place that we live between here, between Spain and, uh, and Ireland, going back to see my son. Um, but I've lived in six countries in my life. I've moved to six different countries. Um, and, you know, I'm in for... I'm up for that. I'm up for the adventure in life. I'm not afraid of doing things like that because I think it's only when you put yourself out, you know, I'm not saying that you have to move country. I'm not saying that you have to move anywhere. But a lot of the changes that are going to happen to you are, most of the changes that are going to happen to you are interior changes, you know, um, changes that happen inside of you because of because you're determined to make these changes happen. And it's that determination um, you know, I'm not talking about the determination in, in the strengths. I'm talking about the determination that you're looking forward and you're saying to yourself, well, I want to improve myself. I want to get to a better version of myself. Um, and a better version of myself, not only at the end of my life, but tomorrow, the next day, and the next day. 